Hi guys, my name is Cash and welcome to another video here on Cashed Out Cars. Today we are working on the country's cheapest ND Miata which has a ton of hail damage. Now I got this car quoted and it was quoted at about $7,000 of hail damage to repair everything on here, but today we're just going to be focusing on this front fender. We're going to be repairing all of these dents with a $30 paintless dent repair kit that I bought from Amazon. I've had fantastic results with this kit doing the rest of this car, especially the steel panels like the fender that we're about to do right here. But anyway, I'm going to be using that $30 kit. I have it linked down below. I personally am not a professional, but I'm getting really good results out of this. And I think you could learn from what I learned doing the rest of this car. Let's do this fender here so you can see what my results will look like and what you could expect if you try to do this yourself. Let's get into it. All right, so the first dents we're gonna remove is this pair of dents right here. Now, the first thing we wanna do before we actually get our paintless dent removal tools on here and get working with that is clean up the surface. So we want this surface super clean so we get good adhesion with our paintless dent removal tools, which I'll show you how we're gonna use in a minute. But first, let's just clean this up. To do that, I'm gonna hit this thing with just some glass cleaner, real lightly, wipe it down with a microfiber cloth, and let that dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and do the entire rest of the fender here. Next, we wanna go ahead and pick a pull tool to get that dent out. So to do that, you wanna pick a tool that's about the size of the dent. This bottom one is sized almost exactly like this larger tool, and this top dent here is sized almost exactly like that smaller tool. So that's gonna cover basically the whole surface of the dent, and now that the surface is all prepped and fairly dry, actually it's completely dry, which is what we're looking for, we could get a little bit of glue and glue this on. So this is what we're gonna use. This is a hot glue gun that came with the kit and it came with some glue that I think is specific to paintless dent removal. There are glues that are. I'm not 100% positive that this is. But what we're gonna do here is get some glue on our pull tool and push this centered onto that dent. Now you wanna use enough glue that you get a little bit of glue coming out all around the tool. I got just a little bit on this side and not too much on this side, so we'll see how this pull goes. But I'm gonna get that on there. I'm gonna start by going one dent at a time, so I'm gonna let this adhere. So I'm just gonna let that dry for like 30 seconds or so while I get my tool ready. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this little pry tool here. So this will slide right over the dent, just like that. And now what we could do is work the dent out by squeezing these two levers together. So that popped off extremely easy. I don't think we got good enough adhesion on that pole and I should have used a little bit more glue, but let's remove that glue and see if we made an improvement. This is isopropyl alcohol. We're just gonna spray that on here and it releases the glue from the surface of the paint. I'll help it dry by just wiping it down with a microfiber. And we can see that we actually got a little bit of the dent out, but it's not all the way out. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-glue our piece on there. Now we'll get our pull tool on there. And this time I could feel it's pulling a lot harder on the surface of the car. And that took more effort to get that to pop off. So now I'm gonna spray the alcohol on there again. Let that sit for just a second. And then we'll be able to peel this right off. And now I could still see a small bit of dent, but we are making an improvement. We're making a dent in it, you could say. And next I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these smaller ones because the dent got smaller, so I wanna concentrate my pull right in the center of that dent. All right, that felt like a pretty strong pull there. We'll see if this dent is all the way out. All right, we're most of the way out, not quite all the way out. I'm gonna go for this one up here and see if we could get that one out. All 
And while we do that, I'm just gonna get a few other dents started here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the more extreme dents, but as I wait, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of the smaller ones out. You know, I said I was gonna pull the one above it, but I accidentally pulled the same one again. And we were able to get most of that dent out with that single pull there. All right, we got most of those dents out. For right now, I'm gonna call it there. You could over pull a dent, so that means you could pull this thing out too far. So then instead of a dent, you'll have sort of a bump in your panel. And I don't wanna go quite that far. I probably could get in behind this with a hammer and just tap that out if I pull this fender liner. But for right now, I'm gonna leave it there and keep going over dents like this just with the pull method because there's a few other ones I wanna show you. All right, next dent we got is right here, right along that body seam. So again, we're gonna use one of the small pull tools because that's what matches up to the dent the best. We'll get that right on there. Let that cure and then we'll see if we could pull that out. All right, so looking at this, I would say there's definite improvement, but I'm confident we could do better than that. So we're gonna go ahead, glue it again. Let that adhere, and then we'll send it. All right, so I'm trying this one with less glue this time to see if that helps. All right, so at this point, I did the front half of the fender, but I got a few more big dents on the back half to do. I would say that these dents are coming about 80% of the way out, maybe 85, doing this quick process this way. I am not a professional at this. I'm using a $29 kit from Amazon, and these are the results that you could expect if you pick this up for the first time. I think it's a pretty good improvement for not a lot of time and not a lot of money and tools to make a pretty big improvement on how this panel looks. All right, next up we have this large dent here, so I'm gonna go with one of these slightly larger pull tools, and I'm gonna load this thing up with glue, let it set on there, and then we'll see if we could pop it out. And here goes nothing, let's see what we could do here. All right, we certainly got a lot of pull. We may have over pulled this one, but let's see what we got. So a tip is if it feels like you're gonna over pull it, you could spray the denatured alcohol on while your pull tool is still on there and then it will release easier. I have a tendency to over pull them and just put all that force into it, but let's see, it might've been the right thing to do in this case. I think it's just barely over pulled, but overall that's a really big improvement. All right, last little dents is gonna be this pair right here. I'm gonna start with this smaller one. And then I'm gonna do the larger one next to it. And one thing I will say, and you might see it here, is if you put two of these on too close to each other, when you're pushing and flexing and working that metal, sometimes the one next to it pops off. So I actually don't recommend doing two at once, but again, I wanna try it to see if it happens just so you could see what could happen. So 
So that dent actually came almost entirely out. That was really good. Now we're gonna go for this one. All right, so with that, I am done for now working on this fender. Again, I would say this is about an 80% improvement on the dents. You could still see them. The surface is still a little bit ripply, but they're not big divots like they were before. They're fairly flat and are now just a little bit of a ripple. So let me know down below what you think of the results of this. Again, I could spend more time going from the back and then knocking down the high spots for the ones that I over pulled to try to get these super perfect, but whenever something's dented, Aluminum more so than steel, but both metals, when they dent in, they're gonna stretch a little bit. So when you pop the dent back out, you're gonna get some ripples unless you rework the metal and play around with really spreading out where that deformation is, which does take a lot of time. That's why the quote was so high to do all of the body work on this car. Going through this with my own tools, I could see how the quotes would get so high because this took me about an hour to do all the rough work here. Again, if I wasn't filming, it would take a shorter amount of time, but it takes a long time to get this stuff perfect. If you're like me and you just want to get most of the dents most of the way out, I think this is a really good route. And again, I have this kit linked down below so you could get one and try it yourself. But yeah, let me know down below if you got any tips or tricks for other people watching this video. Let me know what you think of these results. And yeah, thanks for watching.